Today is December 7th, 2019. As I record this, it's the 78th anniversary of the bombing of Pearl Harbor in the United States. What's coming in this episode of Agile Digital Business Podcast is a very impromptu conversation with my mom, Lucille Maris, and her friend Margaret Williamson joined us for the latter half of the conversation. Do stay with me for the rest of this episode of Agile Digital Business Podcast. It's interesting to me that as we are very focused on the voice platform and how we can all be communicating in the various channels available to us on the voice platform, that it was voice that notified many people back in 1941 when that very significant event happened in our history. Let's listen to these two women talk about their experience. She's an author, instructor, conference speaker, and I write songs and play music with her. Hi, my name's Scott Greeson. Let me introduce you to my wife, Vicki Maris, the host of Agile Digital Business Podcast. The audio content that you are about to hear is pretty raw and somewhat unedited. I wanted to leave it together as best that I could in its entirety so that you could feel as though you were in the moment with me as I was capturing the content in this interview with my mom, Lucille Maris. Her friend Margaret Williamson joined us rather impromptu, so you'll hear some of our conversation as she was coming up to the table and becoming a part of the interview. You will also hear one of my mom's other neighbors who chats with us right at the beginning of a Facebook Live that we were recording at the same time. So if you would like to meet my mom via the Facebook Live, you can jump over to Scott Greason Music in Facebook. Scott Greason is my husband. He and I are musicians together. We enjoy writing music together and performing music together. We do a lot of work throughout mostly the summer and fall with our band, Scott Greason and Trouble with Monday. Scott's music fans and followers enjoy the Facebook Lives that we do from the farm and from our music events, and occasionally we do things like this, where we just are capturing rather impromptu conversations. This one was with my mom, Lucille Maris. I wanted to capture her memory today of her experience during 1941 when the news came out about the bombing of Pearl Harbor. And this is the anniversary, as I stated earlier in the podcast, this is the 78th anniversary. A lot of this is top of mind for me. During the past few years, I have been working to archive her experiences as a bride stateside while my dad, Jim Maris, was going through flight training in the U.S. Army Air Corps, and then later was sent overseas to Wendling, England, where he flew 30 missions in a B-24 bomber. He was a pilot during World War II and then continued in service to the U.S. Army Air Corps, and later it became the U.S. Air Force. In total, he had 23 years of service. I also want to take this time to say thank you to my dad for his service to Margaret's husband, Jim, for his service, and to all the many men and women who were called into action during World War II, and to all the many men and women who have continued to say yes to that call and to serve their countries. With that, I would like to now take you into the hall where I held this conversation for Facebook Live for the Scott Greason Music page and for this audio recording so that I could share it with you here in Agile Digital Business. It is so interesting to me how voice is a common thread throughout all of history and how we pass our stories along from one generation to the next. And 
as you know, if you've been a part of listening to season two of this podcast, I've been very focused on the voice platform and what we need to do as businesses to be preparing for how our customers are using voice. I am curious to know if the upcoming stories spark some interesting connections for you about the voice platform. With that, I welcome you to come with me into the hall where I have a very informal conversation with my beautiful mom, Lucille Maris, and our beautiful friend, Margaret Williamson, who joined us partway through. And remember, if you would like to see this very, very informal conversation, you can go out to the Scott Greason Music fan page in Facebook, and you can watch me interview her as she shares her remembrance of the Pearl Harbor bombing in 1941. Thank you for being here, listening. You wrote notes back and forth in school with song titles? Right. So it was like your secret code? I just remember we just did it in song titles. (laughs) <laughs> That's pretty fun. So I must have known the names of the songs way back then. Okay. <laughs> well, I was reading in one of one of Dad's letters to you that it was one of the big band directors that was there in England touring, and Dad was writing saying that he was fascinated that Benny uh, Goodman or oh no, it was um, oh gosh, somebody was a pilot. And it was was in a on a mission that Jim was on. Jimmy Glenn, Miller, Glenn Miller. Glenn Miller. Yeah. I think it was Glenn Miller. He was on a mission. He was. I can't remember. He was on a mission that Dad was on. In Dad's letter, so I'm going to get some of this on video, but I'm recording. On this is audio here. Well, I let, let me turn it around here. <laughs> Hi, friends. <laughs> okay. uh, it's Vicki on a Saturday morning. Thank you for joining us. This is the anniversary of the bombing of Pearl Harbor. And I thought you might just be interested to speak to somebody who was there. Um, not there in at Pearl Harbor, but was alive <laughs> at that time and heard it. I was alive uh, at that time. You can you join us, Pat, if you'd like to no, join us. I just us. want to tell you, you got a letter to addressed to Scott Shipman. Oh. Fortunately, I knew and put it in your mailbox. Oh. Ah, thank you for fixing that. <laughs> okay. okay, so, okay. We'll start over. Yeah, we'll start over. So <laughs> this is this is. You're wearing the mic for the Facebook Live, so would you say your name so that people know who you are? <laughs> yes, this is Lucille Maris. And tell tell me, Mom, so we're talking about December 7th, 1941. One. So where, where were you when you remember hearing about the bombing of Pearl Harbor? Well, uh, Jim and I were visiting with our friends, Elaine, and uh, Jesse Wiley in their home. Uh, I can't remember the name of the street now, but I can picture it yet, but I can't remember the name of the street. Oh, that's okay. But, but uh, we were standing at the radio, and, and they had a, a radio that was about four feet tall, and that was, um, I don't know the, if, uh, at that time that was a pretty special radio to have it that large and it came on the air that uh, Pearl Harbor had been bombed by the Japanese and then the president, President Roosevelt, came on and said something to the fact that we had been bombed and uh, something, I can't repeat his word, but Mm -hmm. it would go down in infamy, some very spatial. We would be down now that we would be in war. war. So it was the event that caused the U.S. to enter World War II, and right? That was the cause of us to enter World War II, yes. So did Dad know at that time, like in that moment, did he know, I'm going to go uh, be in the war, or 
like what was in the atmosphere at that time? Did you have a feeling about what it all meant? I personally did not, but apparently he did, and apparently the young men across the nation realized that they would be going to the service in some kind to fight a war, and they chose to go to the type of service they wanted to go to rather than to be drafted into the army and maybe not get the type of service they wanted. And, and Jim, your dad, wanted to be a pilot, so he chose to go to the Air Corps, mm -hmm. which later become, became the Army Air Force. Mm -hmm. um, so that was his choice. And, and I don't know, probably the next day he went to Chinook to, enter, to be enlisted. Mm -hmm. So Chinook yeah. Airfield. Right. Was, um, air, was at Rantoul, just close a, a few miles from us. So Rantoul, Illinois, is right. what you're talking right. about, right? Right. Okay. Uh, so it wasn't too long after that then you guys ended up being separated by the war. Absolutely, absolutely, yeah. Okay. He well, was, I think, if I remember, he, uh, what month was this? This was December. It was like October, though, before he was actually called to go uh, to the to be trained start to be trained mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. it was a few months so you had you guys then got married in January of 43 so right. not too long yeah. your anniversary is coming up well that that, that uh, of course Pearl Harbor happened in right, 41 so, so you were a couple of couple years later. Right. So right. I, I skipped a year. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you did. <laughs> I need to work on my math. <laughs> right. So, hey, Kevin Yost is watching. Hi, Kevin Yost. <laughs> Say hi to Kevin. Hi, Kevin. <laughs> That's awesome. Well, we are, I'm also audio recording this, so I'm going to put a little bit of this on the next episode of my podcast. I'm, I'm so intrigued how it's almost like we've come, we, the country, have come back around to using more voice as a platform like what you were experiencing voice via the radio right, right when you got that news and and now everybody's using their voice to ask their phones and uh, their smart speakers in their house and their right. tv remotes and things so very interesting well thank you for uh, visiting with me i'm going to sign off here on the facebook live okay there's margaret Oh, hi, Margaret. Yeah, so I jumped ahead in, in the in the year. So it was December 7th, 1941, One. when the bombing happened on Pearl Harbor. Right. Dad enlisted at Rantoul. We think Probably. that was in... I, 42 is the year, I remember, but I'm not sure I'd know the month off the top of my uh, that head. Dad enlisted? Uh, yeah, Come join us. I thought. Is yeah, that <laughs> it's great to see you, Margaret. How are you? I'm doing well. I'm missing you. Well, I'm missing you. <laughs> <laughs> we, we need to make a point to uh, visit more often. Yeah, I love that article in the paper with uh, About your husband's that. picture. Oh, wasn't that? I did give that to you. Didn't yes, I? Mm -hmm. yes, you did. Yeah, thank you for doing that. Uh, wasn't that a, it's just a yes. neat thing that's unfolding with that yeah, new studio wonderful. down there at the Arts Federation. Yeah. Well, uh, how's it going uh, up north? It's going wonderful Good. up at the University of Notre Dame. It's uh, <laughs> this time of year quiets down a little bit uh -huh. for us because we're getting ready to wrap up the semester. Okay. And then things pick back up again, you know. <laughs> Not very, a little bit of rest for a couple of weeks. Give you a little bit of Christmas. Huh? Yes, yeah. <laughs> Did you, were you able to get th free for Thanksgiving? <laughs> you know, we came, we had dinner down here okay. uh, for Thanksgiving. Well, I haven't seen your mom to talk to her. Since. Yeah. <laughs> what, did, what did you do for Thanksgiving? Uh, Bob had the whole family. Oh, nice. Uh, uh -huh. And they insist on going to Arnie's for lunch on the next day. <laughs> <laughs> and then bowling. <laughs> That's a fun tradition. <laughs> That's I good. I'd like to see you bowling, Margaret. <laughs> yeah, did, yeah, did you I bowl? I never did that. Oh, you never did? <laughs> <laughs> I might have tried once or twice, but I never 
Jim loved to bowl, but I never was any good at all. Oh my gosh. I used to like the bowl. Do you mind coming a little bit closer so I can get you near the mic? Oh. I have a mic right here. Oh. Well, I was, today's the anniversary of the bombing of Pearl Harbor, and I was talking to mom to get a little bit more Mm -hmm. I've thought about it all day. Have you? Yeah, Yeah, I have. Couldn't help. You know, when I turned on the TV. They would be brought into the ward just like we were. Yeah. (laughs) Right. Yeah. And um, I, you know, I remember it very well, and how I felt at the time. You know, I was a young girl that didn't. You were what were we? Eighteen? <laughs> no, at night I can't remember how old I was. But I graduated from high school at forty in forty one, and started to Oklahoma University that fall, and that's when it happened. I was nineteen. Nineteen. Uh-huh. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Were, did you also hear the news over the radio? Um, oh, let me try. Let me think a second. I think they announced it in my dormitory before I had my radio on. Okay. Yeah, because uh, all freshman girls had to live in the freshman girls' dorm at that time. And... Um, I'm, and they had announcements first thing in the morning. <laughs> like over some sort of a PA system? Yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So. All right. Uh, as soon as it happened is when they announced it. Of course. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Hang on one second. <laughs> I'd better let you go because I think it's your card game calling. <laughs> <laughs> Well, is that who it was? Yeah. Do you want to go? I've got to go, too. (laughs) (laughs) I'll let you guys go. But you've given me some... I wanted to... If you don't mind, I'd like to add a little bit of this to the end of my upcoming podcast episode. Sure. uh, I'm flattered that you do. (laughs) 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 At this point, I'm old. (laughs) You are not. I feel like I'm falling apart. (laughs) You're not falling apart. <laughs> You're, you two are as wonderful and beautiful as ever. Oh, <laughs> I appreciate that you recall these significant events in our history. Well, I'm thankful I recall. I really am because you see a lot of people around here that can't, don't we? Mm. <laughs> Do. Do you mind sharing your ages? I don't mind at all. I'm 96, but I'm closer to 97. My birthday is April. In April, okay. Yeah. Mom, do you mind saying your age? I'm older than you are, Mom. You are? I'm 97. That abrupt ending is because the battery went out on my handheld recorder right there at the end of that conversation I was holding with my mom, Lucille, and Margaret. But as you could tell from my mom's ringing iPhone, she was late for a Euchre game, so it uh, was good timing for the battery to decide to conk out at that point. Thank you for your patience in the somewhat informal nature of the recording. I really wanted to capture this today. If you do want to hear more, I have created a course, a documentary-style video course, where I interviewed my mom on many of the subjects that surrounded her life during the 1940s while World War II was going on, while my dad was getting his flight training. She followed him around the country from base to base and had some very interesting stories to tell about the housing she would have to find. Uh, the, The spouses did not stay on base when World War II was going on. It's really an interesting collection of stories. You can find that course out in udemy.com if you're interested in learning more. And then I also want to let you know that Margaret and Lucille both did a longer interview with me in my other podcast. It's called Heart Song Fit. I am working on a rebranding of that podcast, but if you do a search on my name, Vicki Maris, in Apple Podcasts or whichever directory you like to listen to your podcasts, 
you'll find that show. Look for episode 21. That's a longer conversation with my mom, Lucille, and with Margaret as they remember what they were doing and what was going on in their world at that time on December 7th, 1941. Thank you for being here with me. Let's go out and teach, inspire, and connect. Thank you.